So in this video, we're going to have a quick look at polymorphism, um, polymorphism or frosting. Um, polymorphism comes from the Greek, which means many morphs. So it's the propensity of especially plant wax to form in different kinds of crystal structures. Now, there is a whole range of this from very, very severe polymorphism. As you can see, this is an entirely useless candle. Um, it has reacted very, very badly with some of the additives that we've added, um, all the way through to a very light frosting effect on the top. Polymorphism is only really in plant waxes. Now, when a plant wax cools, it forms crystals. So the crystals then form together into a crystal structure, which then uh, essentially house the fragrance within that crystal structure. Now, the crystals will form in three main types, alpha, beta, and beta prime. Now, if the crystals form in alpha or beta prime morphs, then it will cause the crystals to form in a non-uniform way. This non-uniform uh, crystal structure is where we get the polymorphism. Minor frosting or minor polymorphism is uh, very, very easy to see when you're using colored dyes in your candles. Frosting on a non-dyed candle is very, very difficult to see. However, the polymorphism can still cause that bumpy, lumpy surface effect, which is what we're trying to avoid to create lovely, smooth candles. There are several ways that we can do, we can avoid this. Uh, the main one is cooling it at the right temperature. So allowing it to cool in the best way for that particular wax blend. Um, if you get the cooling profile right, all of the crystals will form in that nice beta, prior, uh, beta morph, which will give it a lovely smooth surface. If the crystals cool too quickly, or it takes too long to cool, then it can form in the different morphs, which will give it that bumpy surface and uh, encourage more polymorphism. In addition to cooling the candles at the correct temperature for that particular wax blend, um, another way of minimizing polymorphism is to actually pour the uh, candle at the right temperature for that particular wax. Now, as you've probably seen in on our website and in the academy courses, we recommend pouring waxes like RCX and some other soy waxes close to their melting points. So in the case of RCX wax, around 38 to 40 degrees, depending on the fragrance load and the fragrance you're using. And in the case of uh, soy S41, uh, even lower, 34 to 35 degrees. This um, allows all of the wax to cool at a consistent rate, so there is no temperature differential between the outside of the candle and the inside of the candle. This allows the wax crystals to form in a uniform way, and that's what's going to give you the lovely smooth surface that you're looking for. Um, it's worth noting that some other soy waxes, for example soy uh, 464, prefer uh, you get better results when you pour it actually at a comparatively higher temperature. So for the most part, pouring plant waxes close to their uh, close to their crystallization point in a nucleation pour is the best way of doing it, but there are some outliers and um, have a look, make sure that you are aware of the ideal pouring temperature for the wax that you are using. The final way to mitigate frosting and polymorphism uh, is to actually add paraffin wax to your candles. Now, because frosting and polymorphism is only characteristic in plant waxes, adding mineral waxes um, will remove that propensity for it to frost. Now, I have two candles here. This one is a plant-based wax with um, a dye in it. And as you can see, it has frosted quite badly. This, on the other hand, is a 50-50 a blend of paraffin and vegetable wax. Now, you can see that it has not frosted at all, and you can also see that it has a slightly more vibrant colour because paraffin uh, tends to hold colour a little bit better. So with adding paraffin to your wax blend, you remove the polymorphism. You also get a slightly more vivid colour because of the paraffin's um, uh, ability to hold dye better. Now, when you're adding paraffin, you are removing polymorphism, but paraffin, remember, will dip 
as you are producing it. So you will have to use um, heat or a double pour method to retain that nice smooth top. 